AMC examination rules and process. Hi everyone and welcome back to us ProAd. My name is Amrit. Today we're going to walk through everything that you need to know about the AMC MCQ examination. The rules, processes and everything about how you can prepare for this exam effectively. If you're an international medical graduate planning to practice in Australia, understanding the AMC examination process is crucial for your journey. The MCQ exam is your first major hurdle, so let's make sure that you're fully prepared. What is the AMC examination? The AMC examination process assesses international medical graduates whose basic medical qualifications are not recognized by the Medical Board of Australia. The process consists of two stages. The first is the MCQ examination, which we'll focus on today, and the second is the clinical examination. Both examinations are comprehensive, multidisciplinary, and integrated, designed to ensure that you meet Australian medical standards. Let's talk about the MCQ examination structure. The MCQ examination is a computer-administered test which comprises of 150 multiple choice questions over a three and a half hour session. It's delivered as a computer adaptive test or a CAT format which means each candidate takes a unique customized examination. So in the exam, after you answer a question, the next question's difficulty level adjusts based on your previous response. If you answer correctly, you'll get a more difficult question next. If you answer incorrectly, you'll get a less difficult question next. This adaptive format requires less than half the number of questions compared to fixed length tests while delivering more precise results. If you really want to understand the content and the blueprint of the AMC, there is the AMC handbook, which I strongly advise everyone to read. Uh, this book is no longer continued as a publication through AMC but it's a useful tool because it gives you a whole idea of how the questions are set, what sort of contents you should study and the basic formatting of the exam and all the details that you need to know will be in this book. Let's try to understand the content and the blueprint of the AMC. So there are 150 multiple choice questions which are distributed across six patient groups. Firstly, adult health medicine, which is 30%. Then you've got adult health surgery, that's 20%. Women's health, and this is your obstetrics and gynecology, that's 12.5%. Child health, 12.5%. Mental health, which is 12.5%. And population health and ethics, that's also 12.5%. The questions in the AMC MCQ exam tests your knowledge across three clinician-based tasks. First, data gathering. So this is your history taking, physical examination, investigations, and then they're looking at data interpretation and synthesis. This is your clinical reasoning, your problem solving skills, your identification of problems. And then comes management, so your approach to treatments, interventions. The AMC really wants to understand whether or not you're a safe doctor when it comes to practicing medicine. And also, a lot of emphasis is put on education, whether or not you understand patient education. It's important to understand the level at which the exam is set. So the AMC MCQ examination tests you at the level of a graduating final year medical student that's about to start their internship in Australia. You will need to know the pathogenesis, clinical features, investigative findings, differential diagnosis, management and treatment of medical conditions. Remember, this isn't just about rote learning. The questions focus on your capacity for reasoning and clinical judgment. When it comes to registration and scheduling of the AMC MCQ exam, I'd like you to know that the AMC conducts MCQ examinations throughout the year in centers within Australia as well as overseas. How you can register for this exam? Well, it's pretty simple. Firstly, you log into your AMC candidate portal. If you're not sure how to set this up, watch our video on the complete guide on setting up an AMC portfolio. 
Second, you'll receive authorization from AMC that you're now eligible to sit the AMC MCQ exam. So once you've got that eligibility, you can go ahead and book the exam. So you'll schedule your MCQ examination through the Pearson View system and then choose your preferred date and venue and the exam seats are allocated on first come first serve basis so schedule promptly after receiving your authorization from amc a day before your actual exam day make sure that you've got adequate rest and sleep avoid any stimulants that might impair your performance relax relax and relax on the actual examination day, eat before the exam to give your body and the brain the energy it needs to perform. And let me walk you through what happens on examination day. So firstly, you want to aim at arriving early because late candidates may be excluded. Make sure that you've presented two forms of ID. One would be your primary government issued ID with your name, photo, signature, something like a passport and one secondary ID with like your name and signature. So this could be like a bank card or a driver's license or any other similar ID. You will be required to store all your personal items in a locker. So whatever you've brought with you, be it your phone, your watch, your wallet, purse, your bag, your coat, books, notes, everything needs to go in the locker. So I would recommend dress light. Don't carry stuff that you don't genuinely need because you're just going to have extra things to do on that day and it's better to be as free as you can and relax. Once you've stored all your personal items away and your ID checks, everything has been done, your security checks are done, the test administrator will take you to the room where your examination is meant to happen. They'll provide you with an erasable noteboard and a marker. They'll show you your seat, you'll log into your station, and that's where you're meant to sit for the entire time of the exam. You log into your assigned workstation and verify that you're taking the correct exam on the computer and start the exam. During the exam, you must remain in your assigned seat. Each question must be answered before the next one can pop up on the screen. You cannot review or change any previous answers. At all times, a timer will be displaying your remaining time. And when you finish, just raise your hand and the administrator will ensure that your exam has ended properly. And you return all your materials back to the administrator and you're done. Let's understand a little bit about the scoring and results because this is very important. Your score is based on your ability level, not simply the number of correct answers. Since CAT-based exams adjust question difficulty based on your performance, two candidates with the same number of correct answers might receive different scores depending on the difficulty of the question that they answered. Results are available to download from your candidate portal at 9 a.m. on the Thursday, four weeks following the examination day. Now, when it comes to preparation tips on how you can prepare for this exam, well, here are some effective strategies. Firstly, I would say familiarize yourself with the MCQ format. Sample questions are available in the AMC Handbook Multiple Choice Questions. This book, however, has been discontinued as a publication by AMC, but it's still a very, very good book. So if you can get access to this handbook from somewhere, I would say go through it, read it back to back, see the format of the questions, and just make yourself familiar with what sort of topics are covered in the AMC Handbook. I suggest that you take a few online MCQ trial examinations. The link is in the description below. At OSPROAD, we have an amazing AMC MCQ question bank, which is www.osproad.com. I strongly encourage you to use this. It'll be nice if you can develop the habit to review medical journals when you're preparing for your AMC exams. And also use the AMC publications, such as the Anthology of Medical Conditions. It is a valuable resource listing over 130 clinical presentations. I've also done a few videos on resources for exam preparation and how to prepare for the AMC MCQ exam. Please go check it out when you have time.
my sincere advice to you when it comes to study content is please focus on common clinical conditions, learn the differential diagnosis and therapeutics, and be cautious with the reconstructed AMC papers that circulate online because many contain incorrect information which can be pretty dangerous. Recalls are super dangerous and please don't fall in the trap of such papers or people selling such courses. This exam is a very important exam because once you pass it, you're eligible to apply for jobs and if successful, you can get a job and you're ready to start registration with APRA, which is our health regulation body in Australia. Please understand, if you start working in Australia, you cannot practice medicine based on recalls. You need knowledge and understanding of medicine. Please don't fall trapped to these recall papers or these coaching centers or tutors that focus on recalls. You genuinely want to understand topics and practice safe medicine. Please don't start your foundation wrongly as this will only risk your medical career and someone's life. The AMC MCQ examination is a comprehensive test of your medical knowledge and clinical reasoning at the level expected of a new medical graduate in Australia. With thorough preparation and understanding of the examination process, you can approach it with confidence. I hope this overview was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos to help you on your AMC journey. Good luck with your preparation and I'll see you in the next video. All the best.